in the south, farmers in Maruga are battling another locust infestation which has destroyed all of their crops. As a result, the farmers are warning consumers to brace for higher prices for local fruits and vegetables for Christmas and the New Year. Karen Kozia Phillip reports. Maruga is often labeled as the food basket of Trinidad and Tobago. The farmers boast of growing the sweetest watermelon and the hottest peppers. But over the past two weeks, fields of watermelon, pumpkin, sweet peppers, tomatoes, bodhi and melangen have been attacked by swarms of locusts. After they eat the, after they feed on the leaves of the plant, they are actually feeding on the, on the stalks of the plant and by extension, even on the fruit. For example, pumpkin and popo, right? They are feeding on the fruit itself when there's nothing else to feed on. Mr. Ragbear says the Ministry of Agriculture has responded and sent personnel into the fields to spray the locusts. But this is not enough. The locusts have beds into the forest, into the forested areas, right? And what happened is that they, after feeding, they go into these beds and they, they lay their eggs. And when they lay their eggs there, they hatch. So if 10,000 go in, you have to multiply that by 30. And that is how much coming back out. 10,000 times 30. The farmers say they've spent thousands of dollars on fertilizer, plants and seedlings and now have nothing to get in return. They're asking for some type of compensation. We don't want the money for free, but give us a loan in which we can go back and start to replant, start back all over again. And what I mean a soft loan, that we could go to ABD and get a loan with a low percentage, maybe 1% or no percent or 2% sell, and help the farmers to be back in their feet again. Contacted for comment, Minister of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries, Clarence Rambarat says it is normal at this time of the year for the mature locusts to be up in the trees gorging leaves before heading off to the forest to lay. He says they die after laying and getting rid of the eggs during the laying period and the young ones before they can fly is an ongoing exercise of the ministry. Minister Rambarat says there is no compensation for pest damage. Karen Kozia-Philip, TTT News.